What's going on everyone, welcome back for another video on which I'm gonna summon some soul crystals. As always, the goal is to have as many red souls as I can because I want to do a lot of fusions. And if I show you my fusions here, I have a lot of red soul selection, so I can do many of them even if I can't get any red soul on the soul prayer. But the goal is to have a lot because I want to try multiple classes in the game and today I have mainly things for my archer class and it is not even optimal but whatever. On the previous one, I was able to craft multiple immortal ones for that reason. Here I have some global combo, 3%, for example. On this one, global counter, 10%. So if I want to change from my archer to a warrior, this one is perfect. 10% global counter is insane. Unfortunately, we don't have any global attack for our mage class but I want to have some more stuff. Like I can increase my damage resistance and this is what I want to focus on that video so I hope that I'm gonna be lucky. 1031 soul crystals so let's check how many can I get. There we go. I hope that I can get a lot and I can auto salvage. I apparently we can't salvage the yellows directly so I don't care about that. I'm gonna do as every time. I'm gonna go to the salvage and uh, salvage everything, okay? So let's uh, continue. And pray to have a lot of red souls. Already one! Hey! <laughs> Already one, guy! This is great! This is the first time on a video wh where I have a red soul directly at the start. This is great. Hope I can have many more of them. Let's continue and find out. Okay, there we go. Already a hundred spent. And one red soul. Another one! That was a global defense. Okay, I was really fast, but 130 soul crystals and already two red souls. This is great, guys. Let's hope that it will continue. Come on. Give me more. I want a lot because I want to do a lot of fusions today. Already 200 spent. Two red souls already. Can I have another one soon? That would be awesome. Come on. Another one already. This is great. Before the 300 soul crystal. <laughs> First time it's happening to me. For once, I'm getting a lot. This is crazy, guys. I already have this one. The basic attack damage. Hope that this one is going to be helpful to me. So let's continue and try to get some more. I'm not gonna spend my red diamonds here, I am saving all of them for the next Mount Rush event. I want to increase the tier of my mount. So for that time, I'm not gonna spend my red diamonds. Already 410, 3 red souls already. Can I have some more? Come on, give me some more. And I have to salvage. So here we go, 27,000. Back to it, 561 more to go, so let's continue. And come on, I need more. <laughs> I need a ton, so please give me a ton of red souls. Close to... Oh, another one! <laughs> That's insane, guys! The fourth one within 600. This is so great! Come on, let's continue doing that. 600 already? Can I get some more? At least two other red souls with the 350 remaining. Come on, I know I can get them. I've already been lucky, so give me some more. Okay, 270 left. No more red souls for now. Another one again! This is crazy! It's never stopping, guys. I do freaking love that. 231 left to go. Already 5. 5 within 800. So this is cool. First time ever I'm getting a lot. Can I have another one? 140 left. And another one! After 900, I got my 6th one. This is crazy. And I still have a few left. A hundred left. <laughs> what I'm telling you, this is never stopping now. 
I feel like crazy lucky. On my previous video, when I summoned the artifact, I got two artifacts within 1,300 draws. And here, I got my seventh red soul within 950. This is crazy, guys. Okay, I have to salvage again before finishing that. And I feel like I have way more than usual. Generally, I have around 17,000 maximum when I salvage. And here, 23,000. I feel like I have way more yellows than before. So let's go back in here and continue drawing some. 61 left. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Another one? Before the end? Oh man, I hope that I'm gonna have the same luck on the fusions. And the last ones. That was the last 10 pool and the last one. Okay, this is over. Eight red souls within 1030 draws. This is insane, guys. So now, time to go back in here. Basic attack, damage, resistance. I don't care about this one. I want something better. So let's see what can I get on this one. I can have some more healing or skill damage resistance, counter or combo damage resistance. And I think that I would love to have some combo damage resistance, but I don't care about the rest. So combo damage resistance or skill damage or counter damage resistance. That would be awesome. So let's try to get these. Let's remove it, add it to the pool, add this one that I drew before, comfy on the fusion. Counter damage resistance, 5%, a legendary one. My luck is never stopping now. <laughs> oh man, this is so great. Yes, of course I want to replace it. Dude, I feel so blessed today. This is insane. 5% counter damage resistance. Let's jump on the next one. On this one, I had 1.5% counter damage resistance. I hope I can have better than that. So one more time, let's go to preview here and let's check what effect can we have. We can have some launch. That would be perfect to have some between 1% and 2.5%. Or we can have some damage resistance. So same comment as before. If I can have a great amount of combo skill or counter damage resistance, I'm gonna keep it, okay? But if I have a great amount of launch, I'm gonna take the launch over the other stuff because the launch is the best control we have in the game today. So let's go back in here, remove this one, add the two souls and confirm the fusion. Pal damage resistance. Okay, I want some damage resistance, but the pal damage is the worst one. So I'm gonna retain the one I had before and I am gonna retry. So let's add this one and I have to select one of these. I need a defense one. So let's add the two again and confirm the fusion. Combo damage resistance, legendary man. As I said, it's never stopping now. Another legendary affix, this is insane. Oh dude, the efficiency I'm gonna have in PvP now, thanks to both these two, 5% damage resistance is insane. So now let's check the next one. Global counter damage is 6%, that's a mythic one. Uh, what can I have on the other ones? Here, global combo, 3% only, 6%, another 6%, and another 6%. So that was pretty cool for my archer class. But for the other classes, here I think that I'm gonna reroll this one. Or not to reroll, but I'm gonna craft another one. So this is the one, and I need red pal damage to fuse with this one. Or another counter damage, and this is the one I'm gonna take. But in fact, I'm gonna do something different that time, because I already have some counter damage, so if I plan to use warrior class in the future, I want to save this one. So I'm gonna select this one for the counter damage, and I will try to find another one with the red soul selection too. So here, I need some pal damage. And this is the one. So let's uh, take this one. And I'm gonna add these two to the fusion. There we go. Comfy on the fusion and pray to have better. But wait, before, I wanna check the preview again. Counter damage resistance. I can have this one. That would be great. So there we go. Let's check what I'm gonna have. Comfy on the fusion. Global counter damage is 6%. Exactly the same as before. Okay, this is a bit sad. I I'm gonna retry again. Confirm. Pal crit damage, 12%. And no, thank you. I'm gonna retain the one I had before. Let's retry one more time. Confirm again. 
pile crit damage, but that time it's 24%. I don't know, I'm gonna replace it because I already have the counter damage 6% and instead I think that I'm gonna reroll this one, the Guardian Star because here I have more chance to have some damage resistance, combo counter and skill damage so I'm gonna try my luck on this one for the last one. So this is the one, I need a crit resistance or a pal crit soul, so I need this one. So let's take it, oh wait I already had skill damage resistance on this one, I fucked up guys. Okay, so whatever, <laughs> whatever, I'm not gonna try to reroll this one, I'm gonna try maybe to forge another one later, so then I can reroll this one, but unfortunately I don't have any other stuff, because uh, let's be honest, I have some global combo damage here, I don't want to try to reroll this one, I will try later to forge another one, but for that I need a red soul selection too, and same comment for, I think this is here, yes, I have many, oh wait, I have a three, so here I can try, so I'm gonna take this one, pal, damage I guess because here I have a great one yes so let's add this one to the pool let's try to reroll this one and see what can I get at the end but as always let's check the preview before I can have some skill damage resistance and I think that this is the only thing I want to have here so let's try to get that confirm the fusion basic attack damage resistance no thank you i'm gonna keep the one i had before let's uh, retry again confirm the fusion basic attack damage resistance one more time let's retain the previous one and let's uh, retry again last time global basic attack damage i'm gonna replace it i prefer using this one instead of the pal crit damage so let's uh, replace that and there we are that was all for the fusions Counter damage resistance 5%, combo damage resistance 5%, I have a skill damage resistance 5% here, now I have some global counter damage here, global combo, global combo everywhere, and on this one I can change that, I can use another one instead, let's remove it and let's check, I have some pal crit damage at 24%, so with my mage class this is the one I'm gonna use instead of the others, otherwise I can equip here this one if I want to use a warrior class, global counter 10%. There I have global combo 6% or I have global basic attack 4%, I'm gonna equip this one for my mage class and on the others do I have some more? Nope, I have nothing more so let's equip this one and I don't have more of these. So this is what I have today. And now let's upgrade everything, so here I want some more HP on my character, I want to have some skill damage because now I'm using a mage class, a prophet in PvP, so let's upgrade that to have some more skill damage, I want to upgrade it to like a 50, can I? Yes, I want to upgrade this one to have some more healing rate and global attack, this is a great one to have too, mainly for the global attack, the healing rate is not that great in that game, at least for now. So let's upgrade it to 45, something like that. I want to upgrade this one to have some more skill crit damage, really important to you. 250, this one as well if I can, perfect. And then here, I want to upgrade my crit resistance. So now, if I go in the solo rush event, if I check what I can get here, the 8000 hammers as always, so I am not sure that I can upgrade my hammer. And here, I have a 54,000 only, <laughs> 183 for the top 1, 100,000 for the top 2 and 3. I don't care anymore about that ranking here. In the top 20, I think that I'm gonna get 2, and this is enough for me. So guys, let's Let's check my hammer before ending the video and let's check if I can upgrade it or not. So I have 9000 extra hammers and no I can't because if I want to reach the next level which is the level 69 I'm gonna need 48000 in total. This is crazy the number of hammers I need now. But the stats are really really nice. So guys, that was all for the video. I wish you the best luck on that event. May you have a lot of red souls as I was able to. Have a really nice day guys and see you on the next video, bye bye.